Hey guys, watch Volgor's beer reviews. This time we're taking a look at Simple Times brand lager beer. 6.2 alcohol by volume. Since 1845, Simple Times Brewing Company, Monroe, Wisconsin. 53566. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Because at Trader Joe's, I believe it was like what 46 cents 56 cents something like that pretty cheap a cheap beer Brav Kit gives it a 67 and the bros give it 84 the average submitted review is only a 2.86 so that's below average styles American adjunct lager at 6.2 percent already said that um, it doesn't say how many IBUs probably like five Ten, I don't know. All right, so let's get to the pour. All right, kind of a clearish color. Um, a yellow kind of grassy pale actually looks a lot like my lampshade look at that see how my lampshade's kind of burnt yeah like that only not as dark you know pretty pale but still a light tint malt liquor color has a light foam smells like Beer, a little fruity, a kind of a fruity, pungent, um, not really very pungent, but a, a fruity aroma in the in the foam. I smell the beer similar to this, but I can't really put my finger on what beer smelled like this. Maybe a little bit of PBR, but I don't know exactly. Hmm, I can't narrow it down. But anyway, let's get back to the beer. To drink it, let's drink it. Mm. Well, it smells kind of like a taste. A little sweet. Comes through. And it has a little bit of a, a hit your gut, and it's a little bit like malt, just a tint. It's just a tiny bit like malt liquor. At six, but then again, it is 6.2%, so it's not too surprising. But it's in, and it's gone. So it's okay. It's not bad. It's not great. But, you know, for 6.2%, it tastes better than, I think it tastes better than King Cobra. Probably about the same price, maybe a little bit more expensive, but not much. Kind of similar to King Cobra. Has that malt liquor taste in it. Alright. D. Brunels. Gives it 2.96 out of 5. Pours a crystal clear medium yellow in color with heavy amounts of active visible carbonation rising quickly from the bottom of the glass and some faint straw yellow highlights. The beer has half a finger of tall fizzy white head that quickly reduces to a minimum to large patch of thin film and thin ring of the edges of the glass. Minimal amounts of lacing are observed. Yeah, well, a little bit, but pretty slim. Smell moderate aromas of grainy malts with light to moderate amounts of corn adjuncts. I don't really get much adjuncts. Well, I guess the adjuncts I do is the that malt liquor taste I'm, I'm talking about, but I guess that's corn, but I don't really think of it as corn. Hints of light fruits, apple, grassy hops. Yeah, I, I was right there with a little of that, that fruity smell. Yeah. It smells like something you've had before a little bit, but it smells familiar, but not something like I've had before. Uh, taste. Upright, there is moderate flavor of slightly sweet grainy malts and corn adjuncts with light to moderate flavors. Actually, yeah, the, the taste kind of reminds me of bite into a, a corn cob when I think about it, but maybe I'm just stretching my mind out a bit. Now, followed by light amounts of grassy hops with imparts of light amount of lingering bitterness. 
Uh, mouthfeel, light bodied with moderate to heavy amounts of carbonation, slight but slightly thin watery. Overall, it's not a bad American ale lager. American something lager, A-A-L. But it is certainly not a standout beer in any way. Compared to other A-A-Ls, this beer is better of price and very similar on flavor aroma, but a bitter, but a, but not a bitter as not as bitter as some of the bigger name brands in style. Slight sweet, easy to drink, but not interesting enough for me to have more than one. Yeah, I mean it's so cheap. I mean you get six of them. You can have them every once in a while, you know, in between other beers. Uh, I give this. Uh, me have another swig. Since it's a log, let me take a big swig. It's not bad, but it's not great, and it's a little more on the bad side, even though it's 6.2%. But let's put that in perspective. This is like a malt liquor, a light malt liquor slash ice beer range. And for that, it's not bad. It's pretty decent. But compared to if you want like a PBR or uh, a Rolling Rock or uh, a Miller or a Coors, I'd rather have this just because it's not any of that. But more than one or two, then I would kind of get sick of it. But I'd rather have PBR just for the, the, the you know clean neutralness. But... This is 6.2% and PBR is only 4.6. So I give it like a probably a 7.2. A little bit of its obscurity, a little bit of its uh, the ABV is like an ice beer slash malt liquor range. Um, it tastes a little bit like a you know actually I know what I was tasting in before. It comes back to me now. It tastes a little bit of like like I said. It tastes like an ice beer malt liquor, you know. So this, which malt liquor slash ice beer does this taste most like? Probably either Genesis, uh, maybe not Genesee Ice, Natural Ice, maybe. I don't know. Let's see Natural Ice. There's. Mickey Eyes, oh shoot. I can't, it tastes like something ice related I've had before. Maybe it's Keystone Ice. But the Keystone Ice, had, I don't know, had a, a whole lot of that uh, adjunct taste, so I don't know. It just tastes a little bit like a malt liquor and an ice beer together. Um, which one exactly? I don't really, I can't really pinpoint off the top of my head. Definitely doesn't taste like an ice house. And the uh, I uh, Milwaukee Milwaukee's best ice tastes a little more cleaner and fresher. Uh, this has more of that gut feel, gut taste. You know, when it hits your stomach, it hits your gut. You know, like a malt liquor. Um, you know, actually, it reminds me more of a little bit like a, a light two eleven, maybe a two eleven six percent. Still reserve six would still six would taste like this, but I've never had one. Um, so maybe maybe Genesee, Genesee ice tastes the most like this. I've had Genesee ice, but Genesee, whenever I had Genesee ice, it tastes a little more thicker, a little more deeper than, than this does. Taste holy balls, it's sweet. There seems like to be a fuck ton of cotton candy flavor throughout. Cotton candy, I'll come, I'll, okay. I don't know what cotton candy you've been eating. Luckily, it covers up some of the nastier notes: cooked veggies, cream corn. Fairly well. It honestly reminds me of drinking super sweet, cheap white wine. What the fuck ever. I've had, I'm not a big wino. I've only had a couple of wines, but the wines I've had taste like grapes. They taste like wine. I've never had a wine that tastes like beer. And if I did, then I would probably like it. So yeah, I give this uh, a 7. A, a little, you know, 7, 3, 7, 7, up, you know, upper, lower 7. If you see us, like at Trader Joe's, I don't know where else you'd see it, but for the price, it's worth it. 
if you like ice beers, if you like malt liquors, if you like all kinds of beer like me, it's definitely worth checking out, especially because it's cheap. But don't get your hopes up like I did. Well, I didn't do any research or have any time. I just walked into Trader Joe's because I finally got to go there. I finally got to check it out. And I'm like, oh my god, like two-thirds of beer I've never seen before. And they encourage you to make your own six-packs because every beer is individually priced. You know, there's no markup. It's amazing. Anyways, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. See you next time.